This is a demonstration of how our Wildcat system can be used to monitor and defend wireless networks. Wildcat is used to collect and analyze 802.11 wireless data. The Wildcat detector is installed in the trunk of a patrol vehicle, and when the ignition is turned on, the detector automatically begins to collect wireless data and send it to a central analysis facility, where analysts use the Wildcat software to sift through the data to uncover threats. For this demonstration, we have someone driving a vehicle with a Wildcat detector installed around our office in Northport, in much the same way as a security guard would patrol a shopping mall. I'll take the role of an analyst in a central facility using the Wildcat desktop analysis software. I've told Wildcat where its detections will be coming from by adding our patrol car's discovery device to the patrol's list. If we had more discovery devices, we could add them here, but today we're using just one. I've also told Wildcat a bit about the networks that we're trying to protect. These networks all belong to known approved access points around Northport. I've imported a list of them and classified them as trusted. Any other device that Wildcat detects will be classified as unknown. If anything goes astray with these networks, their security configuration changes, they move, and so on, Wildcat will automatically alert us. These alerts are generated based on alert patterns, sets of criteria or rules against which the incoming wireless network activity is evaluated. If any incoming wireless activity meets the conditions in these alert patterns, an alert is fired. Wildcat includes a default set of alert patterns that will detect obvious suspicious wireless activity. Any organization that uses Wildcat can edit or remove these default patterns, as well as create their own patterns tailored to their operational environment. For example, we know that web encryption is insecure, so we don't want any of our critical devices to be using it. Let's set up a pattern to alert us if one of our networks is detected as using WEP. Simple as that. Let's try something a little more complex while we're at it. It would also be good to know if any bad guys set up an evil twin of one of our access points. An evil twin is an access point set up to look just like one of ours. It's designed to lure our users into unwittingly joining the wrong network so that cyber criminals can steal information or gain network access. Luckily for us, evil twins are only effective if they are nearby the legitimate access points that they are trying to imitate. Wildcat has a feature, called Bounds, that can help us detect evil twin attacks by defining geographical areas to analyze. Let's set up a bounding box around our office, where we run a number of wireless networks. Now we can use these bounds as criteria for our evil twin alert pattern. In this rule, we're making something that is really hard to do with conventional wireless detection and mitigation practices fast and easy. In the past minute or so, we created two custom patterns that will now vigilantly look across all of the incoming wireless detection data for suspicious activity, and will only be bothered when something suspicious is found, freeing us up to do other work or to conduct more sophisticated wireless analyses. Now that we've told Wildcat which networks we're protecting, what kind of behavior we're looking for, and where our detections are coming from, we're ready to tell our security officer to start the patrol car. As soon as the detection device starts up, it will begin sending its location and detection data to the Wildcat server. As the officer drives around, the device is constantly detecting wireless network activity and sending it to the analysis center, where it is checked against our alert patterns. Every device that we detect is being displayed up here in the Device Explorer. This can be a lot to take in at once, so let's watch the alert monitor instead. The alert monitor will present us with only the most important information alerts about suspicious wireless activity. It looks like an evil twin alert has been generated for a network named AVI Wi-Fi. Clicking Explore Alert will highlight the device in all of the other views so we can investigate it further. We can see that there are three networks named AVI Wi-Fi. I happen to know that we only run two access points in our office with this name, which means that something fishy is going on. Let's look a little deeper. These two are colored in blue, which means that they are encrypted. I can roll my cursor over any of these devices to see their classification and encryption. This third network, the red one here, is the one that generated the evil twin alert. It's classified as unknown, and it's something we need to look into. Let's send our security officer a message asking him to drive by again to collect some more data 
and maybe check for a man on the street corner with a laptop and an access point. While the officer is doing the drive-by, let's mark the evil twin alert as notified in order to help us manage our workflow. You'll see that it gets filtered out of the table, so I only have to view the alerts that I haven't attended to yet. It looks like another alert has popped up, Trusted Web, just like I specified in the pattern. At the end of the table, we can see the description of why the alert was generated. Much as with the alert monitor, we can double-click this Trusted Web alert to check out the device that caused it. Again, I'm shown the device that caused this alert along with its location. Now I know where to go in order to tell the window shop that they need to upgrade their encryption. Now that we've seen some alerts, Wildcat can generate reports of our findings so we can pass them on to other teams or individuals in our organization. Let's quickly generate a Word document and send it to my supervisor. So now we've seen just one way in which Wildcat can be used to provide real-time detection and management of suspicious wireless activity.